Welcome to this demo of IBM Spectrum Protect version 814 Operation Center. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can create custom email reports without having to write SQL queries. And this is going to allow you to build interactive reports very rapidly. You'll be able to pick the types of information you want reported on and customize the reports to be sent out to various administrators or other individuals. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to go into reports and then click on plus report. And you'll see the new option of being able to use this operational overview where you can choose from a set of key storage metrics in order to customize the reports for yourself. You can also use the traditional SQL builder that we've had for customized reports since version 714. Let's take a look at the new function. We'll go ahead and select operational overview. We'll click next. We'll give the report a name. You'll then want to select the time of the day that this report is going to be sent out. And it probably should be once all of your backups have completed so that you're getting those metrics from those backups and included data. So I'm going to choose 2.30 p.m. And now you can choose to either run this report every day or you can run it a subset of days where perhaps you just want to run it every other day. Next, you're going to enter either a Spectrum Protect Administrator ID who has an email associated with it or a list of email addresses that you want these sent to. So I'm going to go ahead and send this to my email address. You will then choose which servers you want to include in this report. You can either select all of them or you can select individual servers. So we'll go ahead and select these three servers. And this is the table where you will choose which of the sections you want to include in the report. As you can see, we have five sections that reflect some common reports that we saw being developed by our end users. And you can either choose to select or unselect these individual reports. Now, all of these sections will be summarized into one report, regardless of how many of the sections you choose. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the storage utilization, which shows the total capacity of usage across all selected servers and the total capacity usage, primary pool usage, and copy pool usage for each of the selected servers. I will also choose Client Backup, which shows the total backup success rate across all selected servers and for each selected server. I'm going to choose the Client Summary, which will show the clients with the highest rate of backup failure, the clients with the most backup data and individual files, and the clients with the least amount of container pool savings from data deduplication and compression. And for each of these, the top 10 clients will be shown. Next, I will also include chargeback so I can see the total number of protected backup and archive objects, front end capacity usage, and back end capacity usage across all the selected servers and for each of the selected servers. Finally, I'll choose the data reduction report, and this is going to show container pool space savings from data deduplicated and compression ratios across all the selected servers and for each of the selected servers. And this will be for container storage pools only. Go ahead and click Next. Next, I can choose if I want to optionally set the capacity usage thresholds to identify disk, tape, and copy pools that are running low on space. I can either choose None, or 70 to 100%, 80 to 100%, or 90 to 100%. And optionally, I can include container storage pool utilization metrics for both directory container pools and cloud container pools. For the client summary, I have the additional options of showing failed backups. So that will be the clients with the highest rate of backup failures. I can also choose to for data protection to show the clients with the most data backed up, the clients with the most files backed up, and the longest running processes. I can also show for data reduction the clients with the lowest compression rate and the clients with the lowest deduplication rate. And I'll see the top 10 for each of these in the summary. Okay, that's all there is to it. Click Create. So now you'll see the newly created report here. If you want to wait until it runs automatically, you can. Otherwise, you can click this Send button, and that will allow you to send it off right away. 
If you want, you can add additional email addresses directly from the send report. So I'll go ahead and add in Sean Sperry at us.ibm.com and click send. Now you'll see a progress bar on the send request being created. Either you can wait for it to complete or you can simply click close and that will close out that box. When the report has been sent, you will see that noted underneath the last report sent column. And you can see the status, which is succeeded. If you select the report and then click on the details button, you'll be given the opportunity to edit any of the settings that you set when you originally created the report. So for instance, you could change the report's name, when it's being sent out, which server it's reporting on, or any of the different aspects of what shows up in the report. Once you've made the change, go ahead and click save and then close. Another option you have is to enable or disable the report by selecting the sliding button here and then clicking save or cancel. And finally, you could also utilize the delete button. One other thing to be aware of, in order to use the reports, you do have to set up a mail server. So if you didn't need to make any changes there, you could click on the server button. When I go into my email, I can see the Spectrum Protect operational report. That was the name that I gave it. And it comes from the person you set up as the ID when you set up your mail server information. So I can click on that. And here I have my report. There are no attachments and there are no twisty sections in this report, so we can just scroll through it. I do see that I have selected three servers to report on. I can see my overview of my storage utilization, and then I can see the breakdown by each of the Spectre Protect servers, and then each of the storage pools inside of those servers and it'll show that for each of the Spectrum Protect servers that I selected. The next section of the report is on the container storage pool availability capacity, and I can see each of my director container storage pools, which server they belong to, the free space, the utilized space, and the total space available. Likewise, I can see that for my cloud container pools. Now the next section is the client summary and I will show you that in another report. I have my chargeback, and here for the chargeback, I can see my overview that has the complete summary of the three servers, and then I can see the by server breakout. So here I have the individual server, the backend usage, the front end usage, the backup objects, and the archive objects. The next section is my data reduction, and on this I see the first dark blue line shows all the Spectrum Protect server's amount of data before reduction, and then the second blue line shows the current amount after deduplication, which is indicated by the light blue line, and after compression, which is a pink line. So I originally had 10.5 terabytes but I freed up 4.9 terabytes with deduplication, and I freed up 1.9 terabytes with compression, resulting in 3.7 terabytes, which once again was that dark blue line here. So that was for all servers, and then I do the same breakout for the individual servers. Let's take a look at another report that was sent from a different Spectrum Protect implementation. Here what I'm interested in showing you is the client summary. I can see underneath the client summary tab, the failed backups for the top 10 clients with the highest rate of backup failure. Below that, for the data protection, I see the client backups with the most data being backed up, once again, top 10. And then I see the client backups with the most files, the client performance with the lowest compression ratio, the lowest dedupe ratio, top 10, and then it goes on to the next section. So in summary, the 814 version of IBM Spectrum Protect's Operation Center enables you to create custom email reports without having to write SQL queries. And as you saw from the demo, you have five different sections of the report that you can choose from, and you can choose things like individual servers you wanna report on, when you want the reports to be sent, and who you want the reports to be sent to. Thank you very much.